I know they don't want no problems with this stingray. Oh, they're coming up. They're coming after us now. You sure they're not cops? And we are the dreamers of dreams. Damn. Living life spinning like a merry-go-round Traveling around the world, you know he gets around Good yeah. vibes Good only, vibes. it's the one and only yeah. Justin, Bravo. Justin Bravo, he's my number one homie Subscribe yeah. Yo, go gang, what's going on? We got Dan behind the camera. I've got a fresh new board. Um, this is a three-wheel electric skateboard scooter hybrid looking thing. Um, I've never ridden anything like this. This is very unique. It comes in a huge box. Dan, this is a huge box. Enormous. <laughs> Dude, listen, we're gonna go to the gym afterwards. I'm not sure we need to. We just carry around this box Let's and we'll just be do golden. presses with that. Dude, let me tell you, uh, the Dragon Knight, it looks interesting, it looks different, and I'm all about that because I think sometimes, man, we get the same looking board, same things happening, and uh, you know, I, I want to try something unique, something different. You ready to try this out, Dan? Let's hit it. Uh, I want to see, uh, I want to see you try out the new uh, Dragon Knight. Here is the Dragon Knight, and you can see right here on the box, 265 pound capacity, but that's not a problem because Dan and I, we've been leaning out. We've been, uh, are you weighing near 265 now? Uh, somewhere like somewhere, that, yeah, Somewhere yeah. like 165. Let's just subtract 100 pounds <laughs> on that one. Uh, it's got a four IPX water resistance. It has 11 mile range, and it goes up to 17.4 miles per hour. Um, so it does a lot of things. Now, this three wheel design, I saw it. This is one of the better selling boards on Amazon. That's why I wanted to check it out. Uh, the three wheel design, if you've ever ridden a three wheel scooter like this, the turning radius is sick. So I would imagine that this also has a amazing turning radius. Um, it also has crazy lights, a heads up display, headlight. I mean, it's got all kinds of things. So I definitely wanted to check it out. I wanted to give this one a go. And I rarely do an unboxing. So I usually just walk up with a board, Dan. Yeah, uh, I was very surprised. This box actually is nice. Most of the boxes I get there are cardboard. Not that it matters, but you know, like, you know <laughs> I appreciate a nice, fresh looking uh, boxing. All right, check this thing out. It looks like a damn stingray, doesn't it? Wow. Uh, I like that, like head. Oh, oh, that's like a silicone cover. All right, so it's got a silicone like protective cover that you can put on there. Probably protects the head of that. Let's let's lift this out. Let's lift this out. Yeah, get, this bo get this box out of the way. Huh. There okay. it is. Yeah, no, Check it looks just out. like a stingray, as far as I'm it's concerned. Just like a just like a little stingray. I, th I feel like it feels it feels almost like we're at SeaWorld. Get after it. Uh, but yeah, check this guy out. It does have headlights. I'm gonna fire it up here. How do I turn it on? There you go. It's just got a button on the side. Oh, those are dope. Yeah, see it just popping up there? Yeah. Oh, looks angry. Yeah, it looks mad, right? <laughs> you can see right here, it's got LED strip right here along its back. Super cool. Now, the way this works is it does use a, uh, it does use a, a, a hand, uh, hand remote, just like most of the boards. Um, and it just controls this one powered motor. So I, I think these guys are just freewheeling, um, I'm guessing. Yeah, these are just freewheeling and all the power comes from this rear wheel, um, which has that scooter design. Now a three wheel, like I said, allows for a really good pivot. Let me turn this sideways so I can not go flying off, but you can usually on these guys, oh, there you go. Get off the, see, did you see that little trick there, Dan? No, I missed it. You get off on the edge of the sidewalk and then it won't, it won't fall around on me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can see like that turning radius is so much sharper uh, than your traditional board. This thing is made of, looks like, like an all, it's really kind of a plastic design. It has, looks like metal cans down here. Um, so it looks like it's constructed really well, has nice shock absorbing, um, but it definitely is a unique board. It's got a unique uh, feel to it, uh, but I'd be interested to see what the riding is. You want here? Why don't you step on this thing? Try, check it out, dude. All right. Let, let me let me get off of this real quick. Okay, you're gonna get out of that little rut I was in. Oh boy! All right. What do you think about that? It feels it's stable. It, it's very sturdy and ready to turn. It's unlike anything you've ever ridden. No, yeah, it feels. I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm interested to see how it rides though. Yeah, yeah. Let's, all right, that's cool looking, man. I really do like the look. Definitely doesn't flex. There's there's no flexing <laughs> happening. It's it's not a flex. Don't don't break my uh, brand new board. Sorry. <laughs> so you brought your board, yes? I did. All right, you have your board. Um, I've got this guy. Let's go for a little ride around. Let's see. Let's test this out. I want you. you I, I'm gonna need you to go slow out out the gate though because I need to get used. To, this is a, this is a totally different sensation than normal. So. I got you. Honey. We're not gonna be. I got we'll, you. we'll get there. We'll work up to it. But right now, <laughs> let's take it a little bit easy because we're supposed to gym after this, and I don't want to. You know. You don't want to blow a leg out. I don't want to blow a leg out. Leg I can't day. do leg day. Yeah. Well, if you could have a, a miss a leg day excuse, 
it would be, That'd be a good sure, one. fell off a stingray. Yeah, I fell off a stingray. I was riding a stingray, <laughs> fell down a hill going 20 miles an hour, and now I have a broken leg and I can't do leg day. Um, let's go. All right, I'll put this box up. Oh, check it out, dude. Look at this. There's a nice little diagram of what's happening. It's got a handle. Where's that at? Oh. Nice. Yeah. Easy That's carry, bro. That's cool. That's got, look at this. Watch out. <laughs> Gonna hit me. Nobody gonna hit me. I'm carrying around my stingray, son. <laughs> That's awesome. That actually makes it really nice to carry around. I'll tell you the thing about a lot of rideables that people miss. They they want to see range. They want to see speed. But where they miss it is the actual usability of it. And a lot of times when we're riding these boards around, you know, through different areas, like if you're gonna pop into like a 7-Eleven, you want to get get a soda. Not that I not that we're drinking sodas. You go, all right, water. Water. We're popping into the 7-Eleven only for water, um, no snacks. Have you? They have some. They have some delicious donuts there. But I don't we're eat. not. I, we, <laughs> we know but, your relationship with donuts. But if you walk into the gas station, you walk in a convenience store, anywhere like that, and a lot of times they make you leave the stuff outside, because or you're trying to carry it around, bumping into things. What I do like about a lot of the scooter designs, and this has a pretty cool incorporation, is to be able to kind of tow it with you. So to be able to walk into the store and tow it around. Get what you need. It's not hitting things, not messing around. That is super nice. Um, that would actually be pretty, pretty cool for traveling around the airport too. Something yeah. like that. Oh, Any, yeah. Anything True. you can do to kind of move it around and get around with it, increase portability because the whole idea to rideables is that you kind of have a slimmer design. You can kind of jump on your board, go to work, go to school, go wherever you're going to go, like to really be able to get around easily. But if you can't stow it or, you know, if you can't uh, walk around with it easily, it kind of defeats a little bit of that purpose. So, anyway. Um, that was, a, that was a cool surprise, but let's ride it. Here's the remote, may look familiar to you. Very traditional toggle wheel, up for gas, back for brake, has three different modes on it. And um, you can switch gears right here on the remote control. And you can switch polarity from going forward to backwards on the control itself. Um, I'm gonna try this out, probably a bad idea. We, we started right by a driveway. Is that a good, yeah, th that's probably not the move? No. <laughs> All right, let's let me, see. Let me, let me try to be careful. It's got a tight radius, dude. It looks like it should. Super That's what I'm excited about. I think I can just do circles right here on the driveway. All right. All right. Super All right. tight radius. Let's ha see how it breaks. Smooth braking. Looks pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Sometimes I'm getting a little worried about these brakes. They're not very smooth. They're just, <laughs> they jerk so hard that you go flying, but th that's actually nice. Uh, why don't you grab your board and let's, uh, let's, let's go around the neighborhood. No problem. That's a that's a decent little hill. It was decent. Yeah. I'll tell you right now that um, it carves better than any board I've ridden because of that three wheel design. You saw me, Dan. I, I was kind of going all over the place because I was trying to get used to it because it carves so easily. Like uh, normally, if I did my normal kind of like toe to heel, toe to heel moves that I normally do when I'm carving, um, if I did the same thing on here, I'd go flying off the board because it really took just a little bit of effort. Just a little bit of lean, just a little bit of lean forward, and it was going back and forward like super nice. Dan, but I, I gotta get your opinion, I got you to try it out, dude. Let me try it. You gotta, you gotta see. see this thing. See. You were eyeballing it. I am, yeah, I, I like to turn a lot. Uh, this feels heavier for some reason, I don't know why, but it does, it, I know it's, it's a normal controller. I almost broke your toy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still almost breaking your, okay, I should just leave it alone. Yeah, I'm sure it turns just fine. All right, even the controller kind of looks like a steam yeah, it's it's it definitely has sting I, it. It's the Dragon Knight, but it is a dragon I, knight. I, I say Stingray just because it looks like a, a, a damn ray. It looks awesome. Okay, takeoff is okay. Let me do a crank. Doesn't have a huge start up line, but it's cool.
clear this rock. I was like, what are you doing right now? <laughs> you see if you can turn past that rock? Yeah. Woo! It turns quickly, it, but it... I just it, have to keep my balance. Yeah, you can't, you can't be balancing. It, you have to be moving. And don't move in front of that car. I'm not going to make it. Look at that turn radius. It's not good enough, but I think it could have done it. The turn radius is there. That was dope. 100%. Yeah, I like it. 100%. You know, it, it just takes you, it's the balance. Yeah. Like, you can't just sit there like that, like on a normal board where you can just sit there and chill. Right. You kind of have to be moving. You have to, yeah. Oh, you look like you're getting used to it. That's cool. It's like the, uh, the way you turn feels like those toys I used to play with as a kid. I forgot. The ripstick kind of feels like that. A little kind of rip, like, like a little ripstick, right? Yeah, it feels like that. 100%. But, I'm gonna do, let's do one more ride around and kind of uh, this time I'm gonna go a little quicker and then I want I want you to try it out on this main road. I want you to get some speed going on it so you can try okay. it out there because um, I'm, I'm digging. This is a little Dragon Knight. It definitely looks cool. It does look cool. It, I mean, if you rolled in like it's that, very like, unique. What the hell is that? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get some questions asked. It's a, it's a Dragon Knight. Only. <laughs> there he is. Vloggity vlog. Vloggity vlog. Vlog vlog. Make, it, make, it make that turn, make that turn. Commit, commit. I made it, boy. Yeah. All right. Cool, yeah. I'm into it. Uh, I'm you into it. you look like, like you it. were just, it was just fine. It was just fine. People underestimate how hard it is to carry, you know, a very expensive $2,000 camera true. setup. Very true. Uh, while there's a car coming again. I should, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, we're, I, feel like, I feel like we've taken a lot of risks today. So many risks, but so many rewards. This car was car was creeping, creeping by, dude. dude. Was that car creeping? That car was creeping hardcore. Was they were peeping my buns. <laughs> you think they were checking out your buns? I think so. Could be. It could be also that we're both on crazy looking rideables and you have a 360 camera and I have my camera. Honestly, dude, this has actually got a really smooth ride. I, I was a little concerned about it. But these big old struts on the front really make for a smoother ride. That car's creeping hardcore. They're coming back. The car's coming back for us? <laughs> oh. All right. They can't follow me up here. We're going to see how I can take this hill. This is a serious hill. I know they don't want no problems with this stingray. Oh, they're coming, up, they're coming after us now. <laughs> you sure they're not cops? People wonder how we get some of these shots. We use 360 cameras and show them how how tall you were doing that in the sky. Well, it's almost my shoulder height. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah, that could be why people are looking at you while you're riding. Probably. I mean, it, it could be the could be the I thing. I look like a dragon knight. Ooh, ooh! Don't be jealous. I'm strutting up with my stingray, <laughs> dude. Let me tell you right now. I like this thing. This thing's pretty cool. Um, I would say that I went into it trying to review it or check it out like I would a traditional board and that's the wrong move right I mean that was that was it's it's like trying to throw a hoverboard in the mix it's, this yeah is a, it's not a traditional board it's an entirely different animal it's not really a board it's not a scooter it, it's it's just its own thing I've never seen anything like it it's got a bunch of cool features that I haven't seen with the heads up display it's got the headlights it's got I mean it's got everything it's got everything kind of built into it it definitely is a cool like all-around just writable. Um, I'll put a link in the description so y'all can pick it up if y'all want to get it. Um, I did get it on Amazon and you can get it on Amazon, Amazon Prime, so you can get it in a few days. Um, price point, I think it's in the five to six ish range. Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly where it's at at this given moment. I, I bought it on a holiday special, uh, but this thing right here is, is not too shabby. I would recommend getting the Stingray and you can do it with cover or without cover. What do you think? Oh, you like, I didn't see like, that come off. Nice. Oh, yeah. You, you like the silicone That's cover? That's cool. You, you, I like protecting all my things. You're, all right. You, here, I'll put the, let me put it back on to protect that beautiful face. Because you can see I've already got, like when I'm dragging it around, I would have scratched oh, up the face yeah. of that Stingray. Yeah, it's true. But now, got a little silicone protection, got a nice little cover. We're all set. We're good to go. Uh, go, gang. This has been fun. This one's been a good one. Link's in the description. Check it out. Let me know if you pick it up. Uh, Dan, we're still looking for partners for riding around. Absolutely. Nobody, Nobody set still us up yet. No, we need some stuff. I know there's some people out there. I, I see you, Mario. You're always in the comments. Mario should come ride with us, right? If you, yeah, I, you, you've got the board. I'm sure I'm calling people out to come ride with us. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. Come ride with us. We'll have a good time. Go, gang. Until tomorrow, be great. Damn.
Come back here. <laughs>